Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. Guess what I'm going to talk about today? It's a thing that seems to swirl around all of our heads all the time. And a lot of us never use it as a center of topic. We seem to run from it sometimes. It's called relationships. And relationships are with us even if we're not in one. They're always around us. Also, communication is around us all the time. Some people say, well, that person doesn't talk very much. They don't communicate very well. Guess what? They're communicating a lot. Even by not saying anything, it's saying something. We have to learn to adjust yourself to other people around us. We've got six and some billion people on this planet right now. Here in the United States, over 300 million. That's a lot of people. And you know what? We're losing our ability to communicate. And in our relationships, whether we're in a close relationship with a uh, spouse, with husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, we are not communicating well. A lot of the work I do professionally right here in Northern California is all about relationships. And even in my other places that I work across the country, like in Phoenix, I find when I work with those people, it's about relationships. Whether it's in business, whether it's marital, whether it's even a relationship with yourself. Now that sounds weird, doesn't it? But you know we actually have a relationship with ourselves. You ever have that little voice going off inside your head and sometimes it's that reprimanding voice and other times it's that encouraging voice or maybe yours isn't very encouraging most of the time. Mine certainly wasn't early in my life until I learned how to develop that. That voice that's in your head has a lot to do with the voice that comes out of your mouth and talks to someone else. And many people are in denial about how they are in relationships. And they wonder how come their relationships don't work very well because they always say the other person doesn't communicate. Well, maybe it's not you communicating, but maybe even it's deeper than that. It could be even deeper than that. Maybe you do not communicate with yourself in a way that makes you feel good. I'm a firm believer that we have to really develop a firm, solid relationship with ourself and accept the fact of who we are. Now I look in the mirror and I recognize I don't have that snappy of a haircut and I'm probably not the most stylish dresser in the world and you know my cheeks are a little big and uh, rosy and so on and so forth. You know what? Those are the cards I was dealt. You have many gifts, many opportunities to look at yourself and be in awe of who you are. And the more in awe of who you are, now I'm not saying conceited, I'm not saying self-centeredness or narcissism, I'm saying in awe of who you are and the amazing gifts you have, even in the way you look. If you would start being nice to yourself and looking at yourself with admiration and look at the potential you have as a human being and just say something nice to yourself once in a while, you'd be amazed at how you're going to react when you work with other people and when you talk to them. They're going to think that you're great at relationships because you have one with yourself. Today, let's work on that. Let's think about that. Also, listen to your children. If you have children, listen to the way they talk about themselves. And if they talk and make fun of themselves, that's come, coming from you, probably. And they're going to learn how to have low self-esteem and not have a good relationship with their self. And then that creates a lot of problems later in life. So today, I want you to really, really listen to that voice inside your head and pay attention to the relationships around you. And I bet they're kind of correlating with each other. And the more you love yourself, the more you can love someone else. Let's work on it. Until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary wishing you a very good self-relationship day. Until then, bye-bye.